Lakehead University respectfully acknowledges its campuses are located on the traditional lands of Indigenous people. Lakehead Thunder Bay is located on the traditional lands of the Fort William First Nation, signatory to the Robinson Superior Treaty of 1850. Lakehead Aurelia is located on the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe. The Anishinaabe include the Ojibwe, Odawa, and Potawatomi nations, collectively known as the Three Fires Confederacy. Lakehead University acknowledges the history that many nations hold in our areas and our campuses, and is committed to a relationship with First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples based on the principles of mutual trust, respect, reciprocity, and collaboration in the spirit of reconciliation. Hello, and welcome to the virtual campus tour for Lakehead Thunder Bay Campus. My name is Juliana and I'm going to be your tour guide today. I'm originally from Prince Edward County, Ontario, and I'm currently in my fourth year of the Outdoor Recreation Program and Concurrent Education. If you have any questions about this tour, you're welcome to reach out to us at the Student Success Centre at admin.ssc at lakeheadu.ca. Please be advised that we are going to be able to have on-campus tours this summer and these will be before orientation and during orientation week. Without any further ado, let's begin. Welcome to Lakehead University's Thunder Bay campus. Right now, we're standing in the center of campus in front of beautiful Lake Tamblin. Many of our students enjoy this scenic spot to study and several of our science and environmental studies programs use this ecosystem as a natural laboratory. Here are some biology students collecting samples in Lake Tamblin. And here are some outdoor recreation students preparing for a canoe trip. In the winter, the lake becomes a popular place for ice skating and pond hockey. If you are coming to Lakehead and moving to do so, make sure to bring your ice skates with you. Next, we have the William Tamblin Centennial Building, which is named after Lakehead University's founding president. The Centennial Courtyard showcases the natural beauty that surrounds the campus. We were just over here on that blue bridge. The courtyard is a popular place that students go to, to enjoy the scenery and in the early fall, you can see students here studying. Within the Centennial Building, you will find the mechanical, chemical and civil engineering departments, as well as the departments of biology, chemistry and geology. Be warned, the fourth floor is a bit of a maze, so if you have to get to, if you have an appointment with your professor up there, give yourself plenty of time or even find the room locations the day beforehand you need to be there. Helpful, in, helpful hint, follow this exit signs to get out. Next to show you is Student Central. It is Lakehead's one-stop shop location for a variety of student services. You can come here to seek support for everything from applying for admission, enrolling for courses, to securing financial aid, receiving academic advising, and so much more. Student Central professionals are cross-trained in all of these areas to ensure they can support you from start to finish. Student Central also features an expanded self-serve area equipped with computers and a printer scanner. I myself am a mature and transfer student, and so I have used the services at Student Central multiple times, mostly to make sure that I'm getting my degree requirements and that I am all on set to follow through into my concurrent education program. Here is the inside. We're standing on the inside of Student Central, and you can look right outside the doors across from Student Central is the switchboard. This is the voice of Lakehead University. When you call our main telephone number, you reach the staff right here at the switchboard. They know everyone and can direct your call to anyone. 
We're moving outside now, and here we are standing in front of the University Center, which was built in 1964 and is the hub of campus and student life. Inside the building and right through the doors we're outside of, you will find the university's administration and student services. Right through the doors and a little to the right is where Student Central is, which is where we just came from. Also through the doors is the Agora, which means meeting place in Greek. Throughout the year, many events take place in the Agora, such as career and employment fairs, student research and innovation exhibits, international cultural days, lecture series, and local vendor days. The Agora also features a Starbucks, allowing you to grab a coffee or snack between classes or a place to meet up with other students. If your family or supporters are looking for gifts to add into a care package, sending down a few gift cards is always a good idea. Located next to the Starbucks is an RBC on campus. It is super convenient to have a banking option right on campus and they're a very friendly bunch. Just down the hall from the Agora, you will find the Indigenous Student Services Center as well as campus security. Campus security is where you can purchase, purchase your parking pass and they are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's also where you can rent your locker from. Right outside the Agora is what we call the Agora Circle. This is where the city bus stops. Here you can find the bus schedule posted and real-time updates. For more information about Thunder Bay transit routes, etc., you can visit thunderbay.ca slash transit or download the Next Lift app. It tells you down to the minute when a bus will be showing up at a certain stop. Visit nextlift.ca for more information. Next, I'm going to take you to the Chancellor Patterson Library. On the main floor of this five-story building is the Learning Commons, which fosters collaborative and social learning. This is a very popular spot, and as you can see in this photo, it is always full of students. On the main floor, there is also a trendy Starbucks cafe serving hot and cold beverages, along with an a la carte bistro, which means that you can refuel during your study sessions. The main floor of the library may always be full of students, but if you prefer to study in a quieter environment, don't worry, we have options for that too. There are study rooms you can book, and up on the fourth floor, there's a quiet study space, as well as on the second floor, the academic support zone. Located on the second floor is the Academic Support Zone. They offer free daily academic support to all students. They have math and writing support centers, and this area features quiet and group study areas. Check out mysuccess.lakeheadu.ca for the group tutoring schedule, the tutor directory, and to make an appointment with a writing coach. The library houses a collection of over half a million books, more than 44,000 print and electronic journal subscriptions, almost a million microform volumes, and extensive archives and special collections. Now we're taking this hallway here to the CASIS building, right to our right. This is the Center for Advanced Studies in Engineering and Sciences, CASES which is a LEED Gold certified building. You will mostly find yourself here if you are a graduate student in one of these programs, but there are other reasons to visit. Some of the things you will find here is the Niji Indigenous Mentorship Program, the Office of Sustainability, the Faculty of Graduate Studies, and Ingenuity, a business incubator space.
Just below the library is the International Student Centre. With almost 15% of our student body coming from outside of Canada, the International Centre is one of the major hubs of student life at Lakehead University. This vibrant and active multi-purpose space brings together students from more than 80 countries around the world. Now we're on to the Ryan Building, named in memory of Dean Tim Ryan. It houses the departments of Business, English, History, Philosophy, Sociology, Political Science, Math, and Women and Gender Studies. Like the Centennial Building, Ryan Building is a bit of a maze, so remember to give yourself a lot of time to find the room that you need. The Ryan Building has a variety of classrooms ranging from a larger lecture theatre, which holds approximately 250 students, to smaller seminar rooms, case rooms, and study rooms. Next is the Advanced Technology and Academic Centre, or ATAC for short. It is a high-tech teaching and learning center that provides 1,400, 1,400 student spaces and integrates advanced technology and smart communications into the learning environment. The building contains classrooms, lecture halls, multimedia production and teaching services, enhanced distance education facilities, computer teaching and research labs, and a high-performance virtual reality room. Here's a look inside of the VR room. ATAC features immersive telepresence classrooms that provides high quality alternative options for attending classes, meetings, and conferences. The classroom's HD video, audio, and content sharing capabilities ensure students and enable students and instructors to interact among multiple locations more naturally and efficiently than traditional learning environments. From the fifth floor of the ATAC building, you can also see a beautiful panorama of the city of Thunder Bay. Come up here at sunset to get the most gorgeous view of Nana Bijou, the colonial name of Sleeping Giant, the Welcome Islands, or Anemkiwaju, also known colonially as Mount McKay. Next up is the Boralaskan Building, the proud home of our teacher education program. The Faculty of Education is a dynamic community that trains exceptional teachers, helps practicing professionals advance their skills, and offers students the opportunity to engage in exciting hands-on programming. The Boralaskan Building features an education library, extensive computer research lab, gymnasium, theater, and lounge. All the necessary spaces and resources for you to become a qualified teacher. Lakehead's campus is filled with trendsetters eager to take on the world and shape it in their own way while pursuing their individual interests. Here you can do this at the William H. Bousset Center for B Music and Visual Arts. Our music department offers individual instruction in voice, piano, guitar, saxophone, organ, or any other orchestral instrument. Our visual arts program offers courses in painting, design, drawing, sculpting, ceramics, printmaking, and computer graphics. With close ties to Thunder Bay's vibrant music and art scene, you will have the unique opportunity to pursue your passions while developing a network of professional musicians and artists. The Olga Mertz School of Nursing houses Lakehead's School of Nursing, the School of Outdoor Recreation, Parks and Tourism, and the Department of Psychology. 
Here is a 360 look at our nursing simulation lab. Our nursing program fosters supportive hands-on learning environments that combine the study of human sciences and psychology with nursing theory, laboratory, and clinical practice. At Lakehead, clinical practice is an integral part of our program and starts right in the first year. You will also experience cutting edge knowledge as faculty and staff incorporate examples of their latest research into the classroom. We're moving along to the Harold S. Braun Building. The Braun Building was the very first building built on campus. It is home to the departments of Natural Resource Management, Anthropology, and Languages. Typical to Lakehead University, this building contains two central lecture theaters that seat up to 100 students. These theaters are surrounded by dozens of smaller classrooms that encourage student to professor interaction. Now we are headed into what is known as the Tunnel Junction. Many of our buildings on campus are interconnected by an underground heated tunnel system. This is a great way to get to and from all of your classes in the winter months or for a quick shortcut. We're standing here at the junction that connects six separate buildings. Within each of these tunnels are various student services and supports such as Lakehead University Student Union, Pride Central, Gender Equity Center, Student Accessibility Services, Campus Tech, Student Success Center, and the Career Zone, just to name a few. At the end of this hallway, to your left and then right, is the Career Zone. Here at Lakehead, your career pathway and goals are important to us. The Career Zone is here to help support you with a variety of services and is located just down the hall from this location. Their services include career and employment advising, career exploration services, resume and cover letter services, job searching assistance for part, full-time, part-time, on-campus or off-campus jobs, various drop-in sessions, career fairs, employer events, and much more. Visit our website at lakeheadu.ca slash career zone for more information or to book a resume or cover letter appointment. You can do that on mysuccess.lakeheadu.ca. Just past the career zone is Pride Central. Pride Central is a service center that works towards ending discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. They put on various events such as movie nights, discussion groups, and a week-long LGBTQ2S plus Pride celebration event called Pride in the North. Right at this corner here is LUSU, Lakehead University Student Union. LUSU is an advocacy organization that represents the voice of the student body of Lakehead University. LUSU offers a wide variety of surface services such as your bus pass, which is called U-Pass, and your health and dental plan, clubs, jobs, and volunteer opportunities throughout the year. LUSU members are elected from the student body to run the day-to-day -day operations of LUSU. Students may become a part of the board and decide how the corporation's money is spent and decide on actions taken by the union. The student union sponsors many student clubs that are active on campus each year. Clubs are formed by students who share similar interests. Any student can start their own club. All you need is 20 signatures to get started. LUSU has many volunteer and job opportunities for both domestic and international students. Go to www.lusu.ca to learn more about their services. Currently, we have Campus Tech sitting right across from Lakehead University. However, shortly they will be moving up to the Alumni Bookstore, which we'll be looking at shortly afterwards. Campus Tech offers is where you can purchase computers, software, and supplies at educational rates. Down this hallway in the center here are a few centers. The first is the Gender Equity Center. The Gender Equity Center, or GEC, addresses issues and interests concerning all gender identities. 
The center's services are used to spur communication, action, awareness, self-reflection, and compassion. The Gender Equity Center has a large and continuously growing collection of books, journals, and videotapes that interested students can borrow. Further down the hall is the Student Success Center. The Student Success Center is the go-to place for student services. It provides students with academic support, career exploration, cooperative education opportunities, job preparation, leadership development, orientation, and tutoring services. Go to mysuccess.lakeheadu.ca to explore all the services offered by the Student Success Center. We are awesome. Come and visit us. We really love to see our students and are so excited to be back on campus. Also down this hallway is the Aboriginal Awareness Center, which was another center that's run by the Student Union. This center's purpose is to make a comforting and welcoming atmosphere for Indigenous students on the Lakehead campus, and also to spur communication and have an atmosphere where students can go and feel safe. Down this hallway, just past the recycling bin on the right there, is Student Accessibility Services. Student Accessibility Services, or SAS, assists students with documented disabilities, makes sure that any special needs are accommodated, and acts as a liaison between students and faculty. Accommodations may include alternate format textbooks, note takers, tape recorders, computers with assistive technology, and individual arrangements for tests and examinations. Student accessibility services can be accessed on a temporary or a permanent basis during your time at Lakehead. If you mildly feel that you could benefit from your services, from their services, I urge you to just connect with them. Now we're moving to the outpost. The Outpost is an on-campus restaurant and concert venue that is owned and operated by the Lakehead University Student Union. My suggestion is to order the breakfast poutine. You will not be disappointed. It has tater tots. With two levels and over 10,000 square feet, the Outpost is one of Canada's largest facilities of its kind. Featuring a full-service restaurant, the Outpost caters to all food preferences and dietary restrictions, including many options for gluten-free, lactose-free, vegan, and halal, just to name a few. Event programming has something for everyone to enjoy, from the sports fanatics to those who love to dance. One of the most unique things about the Outpost is that all revenue goes back directly to the student union which helps to provide students with the best university experience possible. The Outpost is also one of the largest employers of students on campus. And just past that billiard table there is a Booster Juice outlet. Now on to the Lakehead University Bookstore. The Alumni Bookstore carries all of your prescribed textbooks, support materials, and supplies for your courses, as well as a wide range of magazines and general interest books. Books are categorized by program, which makes it easy to navigate. You can also find a large selection of quality Lakehead University branded clothing, gifts, and personal items. Check out the bookstore's monthly deals and get yourself some Lakehead swag. Run by Lakehead University Student Union, the study is one of the largest social hubs in the university center. The study serves local food from Masala Grill and locally sourced coffee and teas. Come in to do your homework, meet up with friends, or attend one of the guest lectures. The common room features couches and tables that are perfect for working on group projects, or for enjoying an evening of tabletop gaming. Here at Lakehead University, we have two cafeterias. This photo captures our main cafeteria. 
Here you'll find an all-day breakfast, a sushi and ramen station, pizza pizza, grill works, a coffee station, subway, and various a la carte items. This is the main eating area for the cafeteria. Both the residents and the main cafeteria eating areas look over Lake Tamblin, which is a beautiful study spot and enjoyable to eat in. Now we have a look at our residence cafeteria. It is open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Access to this cafeteria is included in your first year meal plan and features an all-you-can-eat service with many different menu options that cater to all dietary needs. Here we are at Bartley, standing outside of Bartley Residence. However, we're not going to go inside yet. On our way to Bartley Residence, we pass by the Pretty Residence, which unfortunately is not pictured in our tour. But a fun fact, it is the original residence building that was built at Lakehead in 1961. The Pretty Residence building is an all-female dormitory for the 2021-2022 academic year, and it also houses our Student Health and Wellness Center, which you can't miss because it is a big blue wall that says Student Health and Wellness. University can be stressful, but Student Health and Wellness is here to help. They have counseling and other supports available in various formats, group, online, etc. They also have medical professionals available to support your health needs. To learn more about how Student Health and Wellness can support you and to check out all of their other great resources, visit lakeheadu.ca slash shw. So, now that we've arrived at Bartley, welcome to Bartley Residence, which is where most first year students will call home. Bartley is nestled along the McIntyre River and is divided, in, is, a, is divided into a series of nine houses connected by a common hallway. Each house is equipped with a TV lounge, study room, separate male and female washrooms, sports equipment storage, laundry facilities, and an outdoor bicycle shelter. Here are some examples of dorm rooms. Here's a picture of the basic single that we offer. It includes a desk, a bed, a chair, a mini fridge, and one closet. There are opportunities to upgrade your room if you are looking for more space. You can do so by contacting resident services at resadmin at lakeheadu.ca. Here's the panoramic of the single dorm room. It includes a large desk, a bed, a chair, a mini fridge, and two closets. All of our buildings have lounges as well. Residence is guaranteed to all direct from high school students and includes the all you can eat meal plan. All of our residence options are located near footsteps from the University Center. So imagine getting up each morning and being able to walk to class within only a few minutes. There is a late night diner and various recreational spaces, including beach volleyball, tennis and basketball courts, and a skating rink. Here at Lakehead, you will have to embrace the fact that you simply cannot go home every weekend. So residence truly becomes your home away from home. Each house has a resident assistant, an RA, who is responsible for the safety and well being of students. They plan educational programming and work on call shifts to ensure there is an RA available 24 7. Each house also has a house president to plan fun events and programs to get students involved and help them make new friends. A spectacular park-like setting is situated behind the residence, which is the perfect spot to enjoy the outdoors, study, or take part in all of the great residence life programming. Now we have the apartment village and townhouses that Lakehead offers accommodation in. These primarily house upper year and international students. A few steps away from residence, you will enjoy extensive on-campus fitness facilities. 
The hangar is a 50,000 square foot multi-purpose athletic center, which features a sports medicine clinic, a 200 meter track, pro-grade astro, pro-grade artificial turf field, and fully equipped weight training, aerobic, and cardio areas. The field house contains the Thunderdome Basketball Stadium, an additional weight training facility, an eight lane swimming pool, cardio rooms, outdoor sports fields, beach volleyball courts, a yoga studio, and full change rooms with saunas. Here is a 360 look at our weight room. This building also houses the School of Kinesiology. As a kinesiology student, you'll have the unique opportunity to engage in an environment of small class sizes with unparalleled access to hands-on training and lab experience. Not pictured on our tour because it was just completed in 2021 is the brand new facility called the Wolves Den. This new building is over 30,000 square feet and includes a gymnasium, cardio and weight room. You can find more information on athletics facilities, intramurals and varsity sports through the website thunderwolves.ca. Now that we've thoroughly taken a look at our campus, let's move on to the city of Thunder Bay. Overlooking the northern shore of Lake Superior, Thunder Bay is a short 90 minute plane ride from Toronto with a population of 110,000 110,000, our city has something for everyone. This is Hillcrest Park. It is a public and it was a public park and provides scenic views of the city, the harbor and Sleeping Giant. The downtown core overlooking the waterfront is a vibrant community of gastropubs, restaurants, coffee shops, boutiques and entertainment venues. Here is Prince Arthur's Landing nestled in our marina. There is always something happening down here, from music in the park to movie nights on the waterfront. The natural landscape surrounding Thunder Bay offers a quick escape into countless provincial parks, rivers, lakes, hiking trails, waterfalls, cliff faces, and conservation areas. From the, from the breathtaking views of Nanabiju to the clean air and clear skies, you will find it hard to imagine a more beautiful place than Thunder Bay to begin your university adventure. That concludes our tour today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions and would like to book a tour, or have other questions generally about your experience in Thunder Bay and are looking for supports and resources, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Student Success Center at ssc at lakeheadu.ca. We'll be extremely happy to, ha to help you and are very excited to see you on campus.